example for Archimedes uh, in the application of the Archimedes principle. So let's read a wooden object of specific gravity of 0.7 floats in liquid with specific gravity of 0.8. What percent of the total volume is the volume of the wood that is above the surface? So the wood is lighter than the fluid. So lulutan lang siya. Okay? Lulutan lang siya. Uh, kasi mas magaan siya. In terms of the specific gravity, it's 0.7 only. Ang specific gravity ng ating fluid is 0.8. So, may part of the object that is above the surface of the fluid at ilang percent daw yun ng kanyang total volume. So, again, uh, there, is, there are only two forces acting on the object. Its weight, yung weight mismo ng object, saka yung buoyant force, the upward force uh, acting on the object. Okay, so uh, principle of equilibrium, the buoyant force is equal to W. So what is the buoyant force? The buoyant force is the weight of the fluid that is displaced. Ano ba yung fluid natin? Yun ay mayroong specific gravity na 0.8 okay, times the unit weight of water times this volume that is displaced. Ito yung displaced volume. Itong shape na yan. So that is equation 1. Okay? Now, what is W? The total weight is equal to the, the unit weight of this object multiplied by its total volume. So, ano ba yung unit weight niya? Unit weight ng wood. And the unit weight of wood is 0.7 in specific gravity times the unit weight of water times the total volume of the object. So, we have equation 1 and equation 2. So, equate natin ito. BF is equal to W. So, this one, okay, is equal to this one. Ayun. So, we cancel the unit weight of water. Now, the volume displaced is equal to 0.7 of the volume total divided by 0.8, the specific gravity of the fluid. So, that is 0.875 of the total volume. So, yung na-displaced daw ng object na yun is 87.5% ng total volume ng object. Yun lang yung na-displace. So, hindi lahat, hindi lahat ng kabuan ay na-displace ng fluid. So, ano pa yung natira? Okay, this one. Okay? Ang tinatanong, what percent of the total volume is above the surface? So, kung 87.5 lang yung makalubok, 12.5% lang yung nasa ibaba. Okay? Okay, another uh, lesson that is uh, related to the study of buoyancy is to determine the statical stability of any floating object, okay? So, we are going to discuss here ships, barns, scows, okay? Uh, boats. So, let's have one uh, first problem. Na-discuss na ito sa ating uh, uh, PowerPoint presentation, okay? We, you are familiar with uh, GBO. Uh, BO is the center of buoyancy. G is the center of gravity. M must be above G so that uh, there is a writing moment Even, and if it is below G, there is an overturning moment. So that is uh, a very critical uh, uh, position of the skull. Okay, so let's have this one. The center of gravity of a ship in upright position is 10 meters above the center of gravity of the portion which is underwater. The buoyant force acting on it <coughs> being 1 million kilogram. The ship is steep 30, degree, 30 degrees, causing the center of buoyancy to shift sidewise, sidewise, 8 meters, okay? Find the writing moment or the overturning moment. So, because uh, water is a very unstable support, uh, it may cause the object that floats on it to, uh, to move sideways, uh, so that uh, pwedeng sa hangin, sa alon, it may tip an angle from its, uh, uh, from its axis. So this is the, uh, this is the uh, first, first uh, situation. In upright position, okay, ito yung ating uh, ship, okay? So this is a schematic diagram lang, a rectangular section. So ang sabing ganon, uh, the center of buoyancy is 10 meters above 
or is 10 meters below the center of gravity. So, ito yung center of gravity niya. Ito yung point where the uh, entire weight of the ship or the scow is acting. And then, yung part na nakalubog from this water surface ay ito. So, ang center of gravity naman niya is where the center of the, the buoyant force is acting. Ang tawag doon ay center of buoyancy. So, B-O yan. B-O. <coughs> water center of gravity is now written as G na lang para hindi maraming isinusulat. Then, uh, it was tipped off by uh, action of uh, hangin na malakas. So, gumewang siya. Tip 30 degrees. Nag-tip daw siya ng 30 degrees. Pwede umalon. So, it uh, had a sidewise um, uh, movement. Making 30 degrees with the, uh, with the axis. So, ano bang na-form? Uh, uh, writing moment ba o overturning moment? Okay. So, kung ito ay dati kanina, this is the point where the buoyant force is acting, the center of buoyancy. Ngayon, ang nakalubog na nating section ay hindi na rectangular. So, para siyang trapezoidal, so hindi na nandito, wala na rito yung center of buoyancy. It will be moved. Mamumove siya at this point. So, yung movement na yun, okay, is 8 meters from the center of buoyancy. So, it, the, the sidewise movement, uh, causes this the buoyant force to move 8 meters sidewise. So, ayun yun. So, ang sabi nga nandun sa ating unang discussion, when the buoyancy, when the point where the buoyant force is acting is uh, drawn vertically upward so that in, it intersects our axis, yun yung tinatawag na metacenter. So, that is M. If M in your figure is above G, mukhang magpo-cause ito ng writing moment kasi the weight of the the weight of the scow or the barge in the buoyant force will produce a couple na ibabalik sa dati yung ating uh, ship. <coughs> so, how do we find it? How do we find it if there will be overturning or writing moment? So, in this case, sign ng 30 degrees, so this is 30 degrees, okay? Sine ng 30 degrees is opposite 8 over MBO. So, makukuha natin yung MBO, 16 meters. So, ito ay 16 meters. Now, the distance between the center of gravity and the center of buoyancy is 10. So, ito ay magiging 6. Okay? So, uh, kung 6 siya, kung, kung ito ay 16, natural na mas mataas siya sa G. So, <coughs> M is above G. And, uh, pagka ganun ang sabi, it will produce a writing couple, a couple that will produce a writing moment. <clears throat> and how do we find the writing moment? What is the distance now between G, the point of action of G, and the point of action of BF? So, ito yung X. So, if this is 6, okay, if this is 6, this is 30 degrees, sine ng 30 is X over 6. Okay? So, we solve for X. Now, the couple now has a moment arm. The distance that separates the couple W and BF is straight. So, uh, the buoyant force, which is 1 million kilogram times the moment arm 3, produce a writing moment that is 3 million kilogram meters. Writing moment. Okay, let's have another sample. You are given the cross-section of a scow. Okay, the width of the scow is 6 meters. The, uh, the draft pagka yung depth of flotation, yung pagkakalubog niya, draft ang tawag doon. So, its draft is 1.8. The surface above the, uh, no, no, the portion of the scow above the water surface is 0. 0.6. The length of the scow is 12 meters. The center of gravity of the scow is 1.8 meters above the bottom. And you are required to find <coughs> the, the maximum single weight that can be moved transversely from the center that is unloaded over the side na hindi lulubog yung scow. So, because of the uh, unstable support of the fluid, posibleng uh, may karga ito, may karga itong scow na ito, tapos biglang humalon, <clears throat> some portion of the load is mm, napunta dito sa side na ito. Okay? Trans move transversely. So, <clears throat> gano daw yung pwedeng uh, maximum weight na pwedeng ma-move ma because of the sideways motion of the uh, the scow, pero hindi pa siya lulubog. Hindi pa siya lulubog. Kasi posible yung pag napunta rito lahat yung load, pwedeng lumubog yan. <coughs> it will capsize. So, the question, so this is your initial uh, 
initial uh, upright position of the scalp. Ito ngayon yung W1 na move. So that without sinking, yung ating uh, itong part na ito ay uh, andito lang. Ito lang yung lulubog. Kasi pag sumobra dito, yung 0.6 na ito na nakaangat sa tubig, pag sumobra yan, baka yun ang possible submergence of the entire scalp. So ito yun, 0.6, yung above the uh, water surface, lumubog, just at the verge of submergence. So ito na yung ating figure number 2. Nali merong merong napuntang weight dito. So if the center of gravity of the scalp ito, okay, the center of gravity hindi yan ang center of gravity ng section, kundi ito yung nagsasabi na kung saan concentrated yung entire weight of the scalp kasama yung kanyang load, kasama yung kanyang cargo. Then the center of buoyancy is the center of gravity of the portion of the scalp. Okay, yun ang centroid na nakalubog. So, ito na ngayon siya. Okay? So, examine this. Okay? So, 0.6, just at the points of submergence, yung pinaka uh, part na ito. Okay? The tipmost part of the, uh, the, the scalp that is submerged. So, ito ngayon, from the axis of symmetry, we have 3. Okay? Yung width niya kasi is 6. So, this is 3. This is 0.6. So, your theta. Yung angle of tip is theta and that can be obtained so let's set the solution okay so looking back at the previous figure yung angle kung saan na tip off yung ating uh, bars is uh, angle theta so that can be solved by the simple trigonometric function and tangent opposite 0.6 over the yung kalahati ng width ng scalp point 3 so theta is 11.31 that is the angle of heel now, uh, from the formula, finding the MDO, okay, is ito yung magsasabi kasi kung, kung yung M natin is below or above G. So, yung MDO natin, is, this is the formula, remember this, the angle of tilt is, that is theta, MDO is 1.7, okay, 1.7. Now, yung 1.7 na yun, okay, if you look back at the uh, previous figure, uh, makukuha natin yung mg. The metacentric height is mg. And that is 1.7 minus 0.9. Yung kalahati nung, uh, yung distance between GBO is 0.9. So that is 0.8. So makikita natin dito that m is above g. m is above g. So without sinking, it will, uh, the, the, the possibility is that the couple will produce a uh, writing moment, babalik siya sa dati niyang upright position. Okay, so, kasi nga, M is above G. Okay, point H siya. Now, what is the buoyant force that is produced? The unit weight of the fluid that is displaced, tubig yan. Ano yung volume na nakalubog? Ano yung volume na na-displaced ng scow? 1.8 by 6 by 12. Ito yung DF. <coughs> now, uh, A, okay? A is uh, using the, the uh, same uh, uh, displacement, okay? Yung A natin, yun yung moment arm nung weight na the displace from the center of gravity, okay? So, A, A is equal to 3 over cosine ng angle of tilt, which is 11.31 degrees. So, that is 3.06. Now, A, now solve it for X. <coughs> X is the distance between uh, the couple, the couple W, the weight of the scow and the buoyant force. So if we take summation of moment of all moments produced at G, it is equal to zero. Ano ano ba yung forces na yan na mag, magpo-produce ng moment? The buoyant force and the load that is moved transversely at the edge. So W1. So tingnan natin yung figure. Okay. <coughs> If we take moment about G, okay, the force, this BF, will produce the counterclockwise counter rotation, W1 is clockwise. Now, the moment arm of BF from G is X, okay, itong X na ito, the moment arm of W1 from G is A, and nasolve na yun, nasolve na yun. So, BF times X is W1 times A. So, solving for W1, this is uh, BF, okay, nasolve natin yung buoyant force, times X, which is 0.157, divided by A, 3.06, okay, and pwede lang na load, 
<coughs> na malagay, madagdag dun sa eggs na yun on the board, on the figure, is 65.63 kilonewtons at pwede pa siyang maging safe. Almost the same problem as number two. Uh, ito lang, iba lang yung dimension niya. The bottom width of the barge is 4.5. It is submerged 2.4 meters below the water surface. The portion of the barge above is 0.6. Now, <clears throat> it is uh, at the point of submergence. Okay? So, kung at the point of submergence, ito naman ay nag-tilt uh, on this side. Okay? So, at the point of submergence, uh, nalubog daw. Point of submergence. So, itong, itong tip na ito is at the water surface na. So, tingnan natin, i-test mo daw kung ito ay uh, <coughs> maliligtas pa ba from being capsized or makakabalik pa, pa from its original upright position. <coughs> so, okay? So, yung theta natin, kung ito ay at the point of submergence, yung angle theta is, ang lulubog is part na 0.6. Okay? So, tataas din yun na 0.6. So, ito ngayon ay tangent theta is 0.6 over kalahati ng 4.5 which is 2.25 so the angle of tilt is 14.93 <coughs> so solving for MBO MBO is okay, the base is 4.5 the depth or the draft is 2.4 angle natin is 14.93 so yung MBO is 0.728 <coughs> kung 0.728 yung ating MBO okay MBO, pero yung GBO natin, base dun sa ating uh, unang figure, ang GBO natin ay, kung itong BO ay kalahati ng 2.4, 1.2, plus kalahati ng 0.6, 1.5. So, this is equal to 1.5 GBO. And GBO is greater than MBO. Okay? GBO is greater than GBO. So, ibig sabihin, yung M natin is below G. Kasi kung ito ay 1.5 at ito ay only 0.728, M is below G. So, ang sabing ganun, wala kang intend, pagka ang M ay below G, the moment that will be produced is a uh, palubog, is a, an overturning moment. Kamukha nito. G and BF, pag ganun siya. So, lulubog siya. It will be uh, an overturning uh, position na siya. <coughs> So, what is the overturning, uh, overturning moment that is produced by this couple, W and BF? So, ang BF natin is tubig. Yung volume na nakalubog is 2.4 times 4.5 times the length of the scow, which is 12. Ito yung BF. Okay? But what is theta? <coughs> what is theta? So, theta is equal to A over uh, MBO. Okay? A over MBO. Saan na nga yan? Ito. Okay? This is MBO. This is A. So, sine theta is opposite A over the hypotenuse MBO. So, we solve for A is 0.188. Okay? Now, what is MG? Okay? So, kung ito ay 1.5, ibawas natin yung point. Yung MBO, ito ngayon ay 0.772. So, ito ngayon ang uh, distance that separates W and B. Yun ang mga moment arm niya. So, that B is 0.199. Now, the couple now, the, the overtiming couple is, uh, produces a moment, which is BF times B. So, we know BF, we know B. The moment is 253.0 kN. So, this one is an unstable equilibrium. Unstable siya.